Hi guys! So today I want to talk about something a little bit different from what I usually talk about. The day before yesterday, basically, I was watching something on TV. So I don't know what it's called in English. Yeah, it's a show when they dance, when stars dance with dancers. You know what I mean? And so the guest, the special guest of um, this week was Robin Thicke with his amazing song, Bloodlines. Obviously, I hate that freaking song. I just dislike it so much. Like, I don't think I've ever hated a song that much because first of all, I think it's shit. And secondly, and most importantly, the lyrics are just simply unacceptable as a feminist and as a girl and just as a human being. I don't think it's acceptable to talk like that about women and to pretend that it's fine and that it's fun and that it's completely respectable when it's absolutely not. I was looking the, at the crowd and we were like so enthusiastic about it. They were like dancing and singing and they were obviously very happy that he was the guest. And I was like, how can these people react that way? My sister said, maybe they don't understand the lyrics. Okay, well, okay, we're French. Maybe we don't understand English that well. But I mean, it's not like the guy is only famous in non-English speaking countries, you know. And even if we don't understand the lyrics, I think it's our duty to go and search for what the lyrics mean. And that got me thinking, people just don't take any responsibility for anything in life, really. What society offers us in all sorts of ways, like, I mean, um, basically society, the way it is now, is our responsibility, is our consequence in a way. Obviously not every individual's consequence because, I mean, there are many things we cannot control, alter or even have an impact on, I would say. The shit we hear on the radio, the shit there is on TV, like reality TV shows, which are just like, I cannot even believe how stupid TV shows are nowadays. Well, even the book, I mean, the literature is becoming so simple, or the art, I mean, everything. But most importantly, in the entertainment industry, you know, there are so many wrong ideas and values that are just, you know, broadcasted and, you know, spread. And especially when it comes to women, we have a responsibility as customer, as client, as people who are watching, buying, listening, Whatever it is that we're doing, we have a responsibility, you know? And I see so many of my friends even who are criticizing some things, like TV shows or stuff, but they will watch it, they will talk about it. And I'm like, do you know that because you're watching these TV shows, those people you think are stupid and shouldn't be, you know, even on TV are paid because you watch it. If no one was to watch it, there wouldn't be such a TV show. And if no one was listening to that fucking song, there wouldn't be that song. And if everyone was realizing that because you choose, I choose to listen to that song, I choose to give it power, I choose to give power and visibility and, you know, exposure to this artist. People, by not criticizing, not taking part of denunciating something, are actually encouraging it, you know, because you don't say anything, because you don't do anything, you're basically letting it go. I would like to be able to decide, you know, on big things. For example, I'm not happy and I'm not pleased with having to wear clothes which are made by workers in Southeast Asia, for example, or, well, not really workers, much more like slaves, like children and women and men as well, who are underpaid and will live in very terrible conditions. I would very much like to be able to buy other clothes, you know, but realistically, 80% of the clothes which are, you know, made worldwide come from these, you know, regions of the world. About 100% of the affordable clothes that I can afford as a student and as a middle, low middle class person are made, you know, in this city, in this condition. For that, I cannot choose and it breaks my heart. But on trivial things like music or TV show, anything, you know, that has to do with cult culture and entertainment, you can decide to support or to blame things because they spread and carry values that you agree with or you disagree with and it's just the same for me truly being a vegetarian people say it's not because i will do it that it will change i'm not the one who actually kill the animals you are the one who killed the animal obviously your hands are not you know bloody but you're the one who say, I want to eat meat. You're the one who said, I'm happy with that song, disrespectful to women. You're the one who is, I'm so happy with this stupid TV show. Those people who don't do anything good in the world are paid as 
tarnishing the sums of money for just being silly in front of the camera. And people go through their lives without realizing that they have so much power in their hands. And as much as possible, even though I'm obviously not perfect, I try to be responsible and I try to realize how wide my responsibilities are because it doesn't look like so. It seems very, you know, light and not really obvious. But we are responsible for so many things that are produced now, whether it is entertainment, whether it is politics, whether it is economics, whether it is just, you know, about general values. If we want to change, you know, what we see around us, it has to start with every little silly thing, you know. We don't go through life just not affecting anything. We go through life and everything we do, everything we say, has an impact on you know things and people around us so we have to be careful and we have to realize the power that we have and how powerful we are as human beings so yeah uh thank you for watching the video guys it was a bit messy but i hope you got my point um and i will talk to you very soon bye